Welcome back to uh, Search Engine Optimization for Micro and Small Business. This is part four, so we haven't seen part one, two, and three. Uh, we've got um, white, black, and gray SEO, meta tags, and data sets. Oh, just two. And now we're doing landing pages. Now, landing pages is the general term given to any page on your website which you direct traffic direct traffic to either through paid advertising or organic reach these are especially optimized for conversions and search engines now landing pages strictly are not a search engine optimization problem for the simple fact that they are intended to maintain visitors to your page and convert them into sales um, usually you direct traffic through some sort of organic way or paid advertising so it's people don't usually come to your landing pages by search but they certainly come to your web site uh, by search and then they, they may come uh, they may uh, venture across your landing pages <clears throat> but really landing pages are supposed to be pages that are optimized for your products and services to convert so uh, to optimize for conversion is more to do with the content, really, and not bouncing back too often. Um, bouncing back is the terminology used for when a user comes to your web page, whatever that might be, and decides to go back to where they came from, rather than continue to navigate through your page or from a link to your page for some other site. Um, that's often called the exit. So a search engine will check that, get the exit is not the same as the entry point so that uh, in in order to determine relevance if uh, whoever's ventured a visitor to your site goes back that seem to be less relevant as in they've decided that they've had a look and it's nothing that there's nothing there that can help them find what they're looking for whereas if they continue to navigate through your web pages it's at least assumed by uh, search engines or the algorithms that run them, um, that you, the, there's a, um, topics of interest on your page. And if they continue to navigate and eventually even purchase, then that's obviously the intention of the landing page. And what makes a landing page different than all the other pages uh, really depends on what it's optimized. Is that the fact that it's optimized per, for a particular thing or particular product or service uh, that you offer. For instance, on my page, I have three different price point products and as such I have a different landing page for all of them. Uh, it's more relevant uh, for me and my site and my page ranking that I direct the right uh, plan, people to the right plan. That is to say I've made an effort to already do some part of the job for the search engine by focusing on a particular product or service and that's how you should do it if you have a variety of services you should really categorize them and have landing pages for all of them for uh, you know there are a particular number of any number of landing pages pages you can have for a small business I would say about six is probably a good number but you know you can have hundreds if you're a big 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 website with thousands of products and right so getting back to the landing pages um, optimized for products. So if somebody is looking for a particular service of yours or anybody's in particular and they want a combination of things that you offer, then really what you should do is have a landing page that makes the search engine's job really easy to just say, ah, this is even more relevant than just going through the first entry point of say your main page or uh, another product's page. It, it's considered obviously more relevant to a search engine if you direct, you make all the effort to direct traffic to exactly where you want it to go rather than let the search engine do the job for you because the search engine um, classes you as more relevant, it's faster for it to uh, serve up your content and it uh, means that it's spending less processing Therefore, 
there's certain a lot of factors that search engines take into account to do with actual computational efficiency, which if you can help the search engine to do that, um, it will give you a better ranking score and landing pages as it's one of the ways you can sort of do that. Obviously, search engines don't give you at the algorithms. It's just, just these are just things you can sort of uh, determine by the way that search engines, you know, there's only certain ways you can optimize search engines. Um, so really the best thing to do on any landing page is to ensure that your customers, clients don't go back. Um, they go forward and navigate either your site or some other relevant um, site because that gives you still relevancy. Even if you are redirecting, even from your landing page to another website, it means that you've helped the search engine to actually, uh, you know, do the next best thing if the, if your information is not relevant and that's directed to a more relevant source. And of course, that search engine will then again determine whether the that uh, navigation has continued forward or come back to you in order to determine how relevant that is and so on. That's why it's a bit like a network and the, uh, the again, link building, which is one thing I'm going to discuss next or later on, is part of a good landing page strategy. So um, other than, um, you know, generally, uh, I, if you're, you really only have lots and lots of landing pages to worry about if you're selling lots and lots of products. If you're setting yourself up to have, you know, hundreds of products, then you really need to categorize, like, uh, if you're a fashion website, for instance, as some people, you know, uh, it's a common thing to do now, you might have landing pages for, say, your day wear, your evening wear, your, you know, whatever it is you're trying to convert as a category um, to help, you know, people navigate better. Because if, uh, if someone's searching for your clothes, and you sell women's, men's, children's, whatever, as you can see, the categories makes it easier uh, and gives you, make, makes you more relevant to a search engine if from the actual search results they get to their destination faster. Again, it's to do, that's the whole optimization part of the search engine. It's not just to help it do its job, but to do it in an efficient way. So the more, um, because search engines uh, are, are limited in the understanding they have of uh, natural language that we use, uh, they often don't, um, oh, often, all the time, <laughs> they don't know exactly what you're saying. They just go by really what is essentially a like and share mechanism in a social network kind of thinking that, yes, you're more liked because you provide more relevancy by being visited more often. Um, but again, that's to do with link building and the landing pages themselves. Um, if the landing pages can, themselves can help do the search engine, do that very quickly by first coming in from the search to a more focused kind of content page for the visitor and then move on then you've helped the search engine do a better job and it's going to give you a better score. But other than that, landing pages are generally just for conversion to your sales on your site. And they're used, are regularly used to uh, sign up people, subscribers to newsletters or to uh, give, um, you know, have offers of discounts or whatever, etc. some way to get more connected to a potential client or user so either through leads or, or actual direct sales so i'll be talking about landing pages later on but for now i'm going to move on and uh, talk about the robot text file and crawlers bye <laughs>